turned to ban. Dire team ban. Team secrets turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. <laughs> Dire team pick. Team secrets turn to pick. Earth spirit. Team secrets turn to pick. Venomancer. Rubik. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Team secrets turn to bed. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire oh. team back. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Team secrets turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team ban. Team secrets turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Riki.
Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Teen secrets turn to pit. I speak for the trees. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Bloodseeker. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Team Secrets turn to Bat Luna. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire Team Ban Ten seconds remaining Dire Team Pick Team Secrets turn to perfect. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining.
Earth Shaker. Choose your hero. Prepare for battle. Thirty seconds to battle. The battle begins. Thank you. 
death's bounty. Haste? That should help. under attack. Seeds of fortune. Under attack. Oh, oh my. 
What is this? I came here for a battle. Did one is most likely a kill whenever they see him, but instead he's just had a free laning phase. This is a Earthshaker who could go for a blink at like 10 minutes, opting of course to go for the Shadow Blade. I say of course, but I was like a little bit puzzled by that. Stack up on the invis and just run at them, I guess. Yeah, I can kind of dig it. Feels like Shadow Blade does uh, afford you certain opportunities that Blink Tiger won't. Yeah, it's when just it like you, to, you like pub invading it up. jungle. You like you pub it up, treat it like it's a pub, and just like run at people, run at people in this. <laughs> like your Puppy. Venomancer, he's level six right now. Yeah. What's going on? How's he six? He's six before the Luna. Is. So you think after they killed Fada that first time, just immediately rotate on him in? Yeah, like you can't. This is the problem with playing against these offlaners like Pugna and Veno is they don't care. You can die. People of pubs, you can die once or twice with these heroes immediately. As long as you like right click people. Yeah, as long as you dealt damage and forced regen. Yeah, that's all you have to do because you're going to out regen them eventually. You just die without popping stop or anything. So they're going to go on them at top. Eclipse is used as well. Worth it, I think, for a level 6. I know, that's a fair amount of gold. How over leveled he is. Plus the rotation of the Death Prophet now that uh, Fada is gone. He's going to pop his ult for this. Yeah, they can go ahead and see if they can take this tower. Now Ace is standing by, but look at this. They're going to try and catch him here. Slowing him down to have the Sprout. The kick comes out. Does manage to nail him. Schofield slows down Ace just a little bit longer. Long enough for the Luna to be able to get the extra wow. nuke. And that is enough. Very fantastic. And now Secret are all kind of split up. Not really able to defend this tower without their definitely. Bloodseeker. This is not a fight they want to be able to take. Maybe just the pickoff on Schofield here on the side. Schofield trying to look for the roll it out. No, Blink Dagger from Midwan is going to be able to stand in front. Okay, so he did get a Blink. Yeah. I was like really confused at that Shadow Blade choice. I was going to say, like, really? But... Looks like he just wants a second item now. He just had it in his quick buy earlier for reasons. Yeah. I'm okay with it as a second item, especially against Nature's Prophet. But first item, like the strength of it is so good. And I really wanted Secret to defend that tier one tower up the top. Show, show me that you're gonna DP ult. And if you're not, then, you know, defend it. Mm -hmm. Like if he's gonna ulti for that, then everyone just backs out and farms out the lanes. Right. But if he's not going to, then it's, it's like a feint. <laughs> They're trying to get a tower without committing any spells. And why didn't he? Mm, probably felt like it wasn't worth it, although, Using it at this point is definitely better than just saving it. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, it's not like you're uh, you're really hemming and hawing about the early game usage of Death Prophet ultimates. I mean, I don't think they you really won. get the opportunities to take towers. Too often. Trying to go for, like, the instant slam. Can't find anything, Run though. to bottom lane. Maybe he can catch up still. No. In the meanwhile, Vada is pressuring that top lane. The higher levels of wards misses out on the Gale Dawn Stinger. Still, this Venomancer, pretty uncontested, three levels of wards now. Ace is up here too, he really wants to make something happen, but Stinger kind of realizes that this Bloodseeker hasn't shown himself on the map, and now with the blood right being casted on the ground. That makes it a little bit more obvious. I think that Nature's Prophet was actually going to pop out before that. He should be okay though. He can always just wand TP out. Yeah. And they can't cancel it. Like, wand TP out. Easy. That, remember we talked about it, Secret. Neither team really has too many disables. Secret gonna heavily rely on this Earthshaker, who... Yeah. Is just kinda sitting at bottom right now. TP gonna come in at top. Pita. Oh, he's actually going to be able to maybe catch up with Fada. Meanwhile, so Schofield Singer trying to go for this one. Oh, no, that's not good. But they managed to get the silence off the stop. They won from gassing out any spells. So Luna is able to run over Ace's Bloodseeker. What a great Dude, reaction. I told you he'd get Eclipse. Whew. 
He's always gonna get eclipsed. He's yeah, gonna steal yeah, like four yeah. times this game. Rubik, yeah, sort of Rubik, man. Like they, they're gonna want to go on this because he has eclipse. Seriously though, what a what a fast play from Schofield. Yes, and they're gonna make their way in. They want a core though, and Infamous should know that this is coming. They both scan, both of them. In the same area. Yep. And smoke's gonna break. Yapsor. They know that he's got eclipse, so they're a little bit more hesitant to fight. So instead, they're gonna dodge, go bottom, which is the correct play. Fada, who had TP down there. And this is nice now. Grabbing this bottom tower. Like, the top one will be theirs. They have a Nature's Prophet cap. Like, you don't have to rush these things when you have a Nature's Prophet on your team because you know, like, guys, that tower is ours. At some point, we will go up there and take it anyways. Like, Stinger will naturally push that out. Yeah, he, uh, if anything, Stinger can always backdoor it later on to the yeah, game. Exactly. Things are real hard. Puppy no. snatches the first courier. Ooh. But the roll-in is going to be able to find and manage to get the dust out there. Puppy, oh, instantly canceling his ultimate. Not trying to stick around. Obviously, he won't be making out of this situation alive. Yeah, and Yaps are going to pop oh, the eclipse. Oh, there's the eclipse deal. Oh, Stinger did not know what he was getting himself into. Damn, dude. Okay, well. And now he's got Sprout. Not sure how good that's going to be, but that's, he's got it. He was trying to get TP. He was hoping that yeah, he was going to get TP or Treant. That'd be pretty sick. Yeah, he got the worst one. So, I guess that's... I mean, he had to use it at some point. Pretty decent gold exchange, though. Being able to kill a core nature's profit for that. And Fada just continues to farm. He's got a Midas on him. But Schofield setting up for the Nature's Prophet. Nature's Prophet's actually going to go and, and try and catch the Courier here. Rides along the cliffside, though. Oh, you should be careful. People can rotate down to him. And Yapstar really wants to seal those treants if he can. Fada just hiding in the side. And uh, everyone from Infamous just trying to create space while Katara Hiyama farms. And he's getting really big. He's got Mask of Madness, Dragon Lance completed, 14 minutes in. Easily at the top of the net worth chart. But still very susceptible to the Earthshaker and Venomancer, right? And all that magic damage. Oh yeah, dude, he'll die. <laughs> he needs a BKB really badly. But so once he gets BKB... We're still not in five-man fighting shape. Yeah. And there's a haste rune at bottom. Puppy, gonna walk, buy it, places a ward. Gofield trying to save it for his death profit. Might not be able to. No, no he's gonna grab gonna it. move over there. Yeah, I think he's afraid that there's a rune ward. Or a rune sentry. Feels like he doesn't want to make that rotation down. I think he senses that he might be getting baited right now, but ultimately it's okay. And instead, they're going to go on bottom Fada. Has a TP up. Is this enough damage? Doesn't look like it. Good. <laughs> it actually came really close underneath the fountain. Now, Papita, with his haste rune, has some issues. It's currently being ruptured up. Now has the macro pyre thrown up by Yaps, or was stolen earlier. Puppy's getting more damage, and Midwan is going to be able to finish off the Death Prophet. Ace running around like a madman, but he's going to be caught. Looks like stunned up underneath the Eclipse. Oh, just enough for Katara stone. to be able to get that kill. He's going to be able to turn around back on a Midwan with the Ur taking him down little by little. It's so close, but it's not quite enough. 23 Treats. health. He's going to run away. Eclipse taken once again by Yapsor, so. Uh, Infamous, they gotta be a little bit careful about that, but Ace dies again. Puppy places a, a sentry behind the tower, trying to see if maybe he can pick up anything there, as Infamous do disengage. The fight is relatively even. They kill Bloodseeker in exchange for that Death Prophet, who would really like to see use his ultimate at some point. Yeah. Like, that, that time at top is gonna come back to haunt him, because he hasn't popped it since, so it hasn't really had too much impact anyways. And this is like the classic Dota black hole scenario. It's like, would you rather just use it for one hero early on or save it for a really long time? Kataro got body blocked up for just a half a second, but I don't think he noticed. So he is going to be gone on here by mid one. And Puppy, double enchant totem, makes short work of Kataro, especially with the Mask of Madness activated, lowering his armor for the big physical damage hits. Yeah, it's a lot of damage that he just took right there. I didn't even realize. Reduces your armor by six. Yeah. Dude, Earth Spirit chunks him then. He's got three levels in the Enchant Totem, and he's got that uh, plus 10 strength down. Mm -hmm. Gonna be feeling even better. Level uh, 15 with the plus 50 damage. I figured that the Luna, I was like, 
Uh, maybe she'll live. She's got 1500 health almost. And a wand. So her effective HP was pretty high. It was like 1600, but without any armor, they did kill her quite quickly. And Puppy's not under farmed. He's got two Ring of Aquilas. Was it that Bobica did it? I love that. Uh, yes. Yes, it was. I love that. Um, Yapsar always seems to go for this Yule Scepter before the Blink Dagger. He just has confidence that he's going to be able to get the blink. Yeah, if I'm top. in that situation, I'm just like, oh god, what if I never get my blink? What if Stinger's... I'm stuck in the black hole of warding? Stinger going to get gone on here. Fisher thrown out with the dust. Yapsar's not quite able to get the telekinesis here, so Stinger is going to be able to run a decent distance away. Throws the Eclipse out now, but Schofield's already able to roll himself away. So Stinger gets out, Schofield's away. A gank attempt completely ruined for Secret. Yeah. And so he does the bottom. He's got a Yules this oh, time. Oh, he's got the Yules to be able to stop that TP out. So it looks like Fada could die, but he managed to get a four staff a little bit farther away. Misses out of the ice path as well as the Macro oh, no. mostly. So either. that is a complete whiff. Papita can't really push an objective off this either. Oh no, did he just. Oh, okay. Just silence. Just silence. Yeah, just Not silence. a big deal. He's starting to get low though. He's yeah, gotta be careful. Gonna There's echo the slam echo. and chant totem. Now Stinger, he's going to be up next. Hits him with the Enchant Totem. Oh, look at that damage. Takes out half his HP with one hit. Now the Gale goes out. Stinger's going to have to try and TP away. Kataro stuck underneath the Blood Rite with the Eclipse going out. Look at Puppy. He just charges right in with the ultimate. Now the Earth Spear's doing a lot of damage on the side, though, being able to chase away some of these heroes, hoping to be able to get any kills they can because Infamous, this was not a good fight for them whatsoever, losing two cores and only being able to get Fada. And it looks like there's some of their supports going to get cleaned up as well. Jakiro's the first one down. <laughs> Mid one. It doesn't work like that anymore, my friend. If he was trying to do the blink dagger trick, attempting to go for the cake, but mid one blinks a little bit too far up north. Not able to hit the Fisher, though, Schofield. Right, what's, what's your long term <laughs> plan here, Schofield? <laughs> he's going to get the cake away and roll to a different direction. Yeah, he's going to roll into the base into towers. I mean, all right, mid one die. gets it anyways. <laughs> It's a flashier death and you use a stone, but Papita finally opening up with his ulti. I think the first one of the game that I've seen 19 minutes in, and it's largely unsuccessful due to the force staff on the Cenomancer. I mean, they just have too many death profit counters, it seems, with uh, the Earthshaker just being so strong. And he does like almost a thousand damage and just physical hits when he does double enchant totem. I mean, the larger problem is that we talked about it in the early game. Yeah, they have a lot of push and. Uh, we favor that lineup because it looks pretty well balanced, but the one thing that they lack is this disable. Yeah. The only person that's slowing anybody down is this Earth Spirit. And Ice Path, sure, a lot of people argue with me and say, oh, it's a great disable, but it's usually you use Ice Path after you've been set up for something. Yeah, I won't, I won't argue with that one. Yeah, it's like a 1.5 second stun that has a cast... William, or it is a great really? disable when you get level 25. That's true. <laughs> so we just gotta wait for that for Infamous. Right now, that this is such a large issue, and they're actually gonna find Puppy. They know he's there, but he's gonna uh, roll to the right. Oh, they do manage to he get the dust onto him. Oh, and they Luna, guess wrong. Oh, they oh, can no. actually still find him if Luna just runs over and kind of checks that area. That's what I mean, but, man. Puppy, if they're gonna win, it's because Puppy is as annoying as possible, and so far that is held up. He's been in 11 of these kills. This one ward down here that just expired, that ward saw so much on the map. Like, yeah. It was able to spot them for like a good three minutes. That's why they were able to spot that rotation going down. And I mean, ward vision is often what's going to make the difference in games like this. Like This ward over here, uh, both of them actually will spot Infamous as they leave their base, which is so important for Secret's lineup. It's hard to get good smokes when you have that good of aggressive vision. Yeah. That Infamous pretty much will never be able to conceal this kind of information. Like Infamous has pretty good vision too. And they're trying to protect their own jungle, but things just aren't working out right now for them. So at this point, we could say the laning phase in this early game kind of failed. They weren't able to get the sort of death ball five man rolling where they just take a bunch of objectives. But we can definitely give them uh, late game, right? They've got a Luna. You As they so? carry, they can have Death Prophet as well as kind of a semi-carry. Furion's great. So Secret, even though they're ahead, they still, the the onus is on them to actually hit this mid-game really hard. I'm not sure about that. I think uh, I think it doesn't really matter how much damage you have. If, if you the can't, initiations, but Yeah, if you can't put out mm. the damage, then it's kind of pointless, right? If everyone just runs away from you. Mm. Like, they're going to they're gonna need to get some, like, Texas and Shivas. Yeah. If they're going to want a team fight. Otherwise, you're going to get kited. That's why these pub lineups, unless 
you know, you're running at a really low MMR. You need, you can't just like pick Spectre, Void, Bloodseeker, Luna, and PA, and it's like, well, we won no matter what, guys, in the late game. It was like, no, you need to be able to stop heroes to deal out that damage. Otherwise, I mean, your lineup is pretty inferior. You go super light game, and Luna, no matter how many items she gets, is still going to be super susceptible to that instant yeah, she just gets initiation from. That the is shaker. the benefit, is that Seeker will always be able to start these fights, theoretically, because they have the Shaker. And that's why this Earth Spirit has to deal so much, and that was the point of concern for me when I looked at the draft, is Skullfield has to do a lot. But he's got a lot to contend with, because every time he goes anywhere, Puppy's just kind of in his face with double Ring of Aquila. I don't know why I find that so funny. Well, there's Samantha. So, at least our Luna is going to start picking up speed when it comes to farming. Uh, our Furion could use a little bit of boost, but he did go the hand of Midas, so I guess over time he will be able to do some recovery. And they are going to start taking some objectives. Looks like Papita is going to be able to use his first ultimate on an actual objective. Yeah, second ulti of the game, but I like this one. Commit for the tower. Like, yes. It's always that it's always that classic problem when you have really high cooldown ultis is you feel like you don't want to use it because if you use it the enemy team will just do something. Mm -hmm. And so you end up just not using no, anything. They, for a ran long into time. Stinger. they finally caught him. I thought Stinger was gonna play it super safe. He did. He was on his side of the map for the most part. Not long enough though. And uh, as a result, the Absorum will steal the trains. Yeah. And Fada just pushing on top lane. I would say that the benefit for Infamous is that it doesn't seem like Secret necessarily want to fight. And lane shove wise, the only person really that's been doing anything is Fada. Maybe there is a scenario where Infamous just gets tanky enough. Like if they all just get BKBs, if they get enough BKBs and some armor items, maybe like a butterfly on this Luna, which isn't even that great against Bloodseeker and Earthshaker. Yeah. She's gonna need a lot. She needs a Satanic at some point, most likely a Scotty is. Look at Secret, fighting outside of the Roshan pit, taking these engagements while they're still finishing up. The Rosh have the Aegis in hand, and now the Cares can join him. The fight's already over. They already got the kill on the Jakiro. Yeah, they're not struggling at all. 7k up. Even with this Luna being so farmed, the rest of the heroes on Infamous. Like, this Jakiro has 798 net worth. Radiance bottom tower okay, so in a way, the net worth isn't as bad as it seems because Jakiro is so far behind. And who the hell cares if Jakiro has a thousand net worth or like three thousand? I mean, I care a little because it's not a thousand, it's 825. <laughs> like, that matters. But I mean, what item do you get as a full on hard five position Jakiro that makes that big of a difference? More items. More. More than this. You'd have to imagine this is not the life you wanted as a as a Jakiro, like twenty five minutes in, you've got boots to your name. This is your legacy. One day you'll pass away and you'll have boots to give. It's not a good look. Look at puppy dude, he's got rings. Dude, why uh, okay. Answer me this. Blitz. Why the hell does Luna's Glaives not bounce to other wards? I don't know. It bounces to other towers. There's just some weird interactions that I don't quite understand. Nice fuck, can you fix this? It's all good. It's not like Luna's overpowered. It's Veno needs these buffs yeah. to be a viable hero in Dota 2 right now. Without them, I really don't know how he'd succeed. Lord knows. We wouldn't want to see a meta where Venomancer is not top dog. And right now, I mean, everyone's just farming on the side of Infamous. They don't feel like they can do much more. They are going to pick up a kill. Puppy's, like, doing some weird juke back and forth <laughs> thing, but there's by no time, way he should time. live. Throw out the cloud, hoping to get a leap. Can't do it. That would have been crazy if he left. If he just got out of there. Yeah, he just, needs the the, he, he, he just needs the uh, Blink Dagger build for that ultimate survivability. Yeah, and Fada at the same time uses that space very well. Pushes yeah. out that top lane. Hasn't really died since the laning phase. One in four, score doesn't look great, but he has managed to grab both these towers up at top. And he's pretty damn farmed. Yeah, he's really farmed. Got Hannah Midas, Hurricane Pike, and is gonna be completing 
A maelstrom, it seems. Yeah, no issues with his farm. He just wants to turn it into boots to travel eventually, right? No point in getting any of the other, up, other upgraded boots. Though, I thought all Venomancers went like phase boots, man. Uh, that was like popularized for a bit, right? In yeah. the last one? Yeah. That was weird. I was thinking about that too, more and more. Puppy. That, that's all, Will. Pushing up you that bottom thinking about it. I mean, I was just trying to see if it was viable for us. Three smokes oh. into the Luna. Goodbye. He did. There's all your net worth gone. Yep. They that didn't even is... have to expend Echo. Like, this is always the problem when you can initiate like this. And it's what makes Earthshaker, in this meta at least, fundamentally so good. You just run in. They have no time to react. They just get an instant kill on your top net worth hero. All of a sudden, a 10,000 gold lead temporarily That's turns millions, into a 25,000 gold lead. With the five versus four. and There's certainly no way Infamous can fight through that. Yeah, like this, this Nature's Prophet is so poor right now, relative to how you normally view Nature's Prophets. Yeah. What about an Aghanim Scepter for him? And is this one of those weird games where you're just like, all right, I gotta delay the hell out of this one. They're trying to kill Puppies Riki, and they've got him again. I'm gonna stall it up a little bit. Try and surround him with Treants. Oh, he, oh, he has, has the blink. blink. He has the he blink, so he's blink. good. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was about to say, like, Puppy's the only hero that they can kill, so they might as well just keep killing him, and then he has a blink delivered to him. Of course, not taking any damage under that ulti, so he just gets a blink off, runs away. No problem at all. So now they have no heroes they can kill. Yeah, maybe. I would have said they can kill Yapsor, but he pretty much has Ags. You know what he's trying to do, right? Steal the uh, yeah, eclipse and the throw eclipse it on, and then throw it on puppy. Throw it on puppy. Gonna, blinks puppy's in, blink pops it. the ultimate. Yep, that yeah. sounds like a sick play to me. That is that is 100 percent the plan. Are you sure though, Will? What about stealing the macro? Look pyre? at that gold spent on support items. 740. Yeah, Yapsor isn't about that life. Yeah, I'm surprised not he about spent that life. 740. To be honest, yeah. I thought it would have been zero. Statistically, this must be like. One of the highest games that he's bought towards <laughs> on is in mid. They're gonna go. Oh, four. that is so much nuke damage already. They brought him down to half health. They just chill. They back out. Yeah. They're so mobile. There's no disable on the side of Infamous. So everyone just like parkours away. Nobody cares. <laughs> They're not afraid of you or your BKB. <laughs> Pop that ulti. One by one, the BKB charges will start dwindling. And Infamous. I think they're just like farming, hoping for something because they know they can't team fight. But they're gonna get picked off because that's just secret lineup. That's the way that it works. I'm, you gotta formulate like a long-term plan, though. Yeah, you're drawing out the game, but for what? Exactly. Like, what? What is the? What are you shooting for here? As nature's profit? What have we here? I mean, you're probably just stalling and hoping for an opportunity to present itself. Right, splitting them up on enough that you eventually either get the farm. To have, why did we go pipe, by the way, on Nature's Prophet? It's good versus pretty much all the secret heroes. Yeah, sure, but didn't we didn't we need hard lockdown? Wasn't that the big problem? It's okay. He's gonna. It looks like he's getting hex next, which yeah. we talked about what he needed. Sure, sure. There's still always an so upside. So just stall the game another ten minutes. Yeah, and with that pipe, like if they can, if the carries can get their BKBs off, like maybe Infamous stands a chance. Like the way that I see Infamous, if they can win this game, they just get really, really farmed on the Suno. Like she needs to get six slotted. This Death Prophet gets six slotted too. Schofield and Stinger has to. Oh no, he got greedy. <laughs> He no. tried to go for the extra creep wave after the courier snipe. It's going to be found by mid one, who doesn't even bother throwing down his echo slam. Yeah, that was an optimistic a TP. Meanwhile, his team is pushing down the tier two at the same time, so that's probably why he went for that creep wave. They're going to fight ultimately, the creating space, but secret. Are you going to try and challenge this tier two going down? Kataro's going to go ahead and pop his BKB early here with the ice path. He can actually maybe get a kill on someone. Yapsir goes ahead. Yule Scepter's himself, they have to TP out. Excel's gonna be caught again mid one with the Yules. You think Excel cares dying? No, no cares here. Tier two acquired. 
Papita also popped his ulti. Like, they're hard committing for these things, but yeah. Seeker's not really giving them the opportunity to fight. He doesn't have the Octary yet. It's yeah. going to be a long cooldown, so Secret should take advantage of this timing, right? Or not? I mean, all the BKBs are out. down. No, you wait for Aegis. If you're yeah. a good team, you'll wait for Aegis. Mm. I like that. Your singer's like very definitive. Just trying to do whatever he can. He's yeah, like, I'll grab this bounty rune. Repeatedly dying. Immediately going to gonna die. The pipe. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> But what can you do about that? Apparently, like, two shot you anyway. <laughs> the sad part is that, like, uh, Secret's supports also scale pretty well. Rubik with the Aghanim Scepter and then obviously uh, the Riki can turn into Rubik a real damage fight? dealer. No, no they, they did they not. He Yule Scepter himself. They used he a lot, good. too. I think they close to that. Mid one shows himself at bottom, then TPs up top. Trying to see if he can find anybody with Puppy who's got that Blink Dagger. Maybe they just run into Katara Hoyama right now and blow him up in like one second. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm expecting. Excel's kind of babysitting him inside of the jungle. It's never what you want to see is that you're so scared that your Luna has to neutral all the time and you have to protect him with the support. And that's all right. I don't know if Excel really counts as bodyguard more, <laughs> more than just like a hopeful bystander. Come on, man. What, what's just this, what's Excel going to do? <laughs> willing energy to him. Dude, what's Excel going to do when they five-man jump him? <laughs> Give him the spirit bomb, baby. He's going to, like, say good luck. <laughs> Hope that works out. <laughs> he'll record Kataro's final moments. That's what he'll do. For posterity. Yeah, he'll be there. Just like, I'll remember this. <laughs> I will remember you. Do -be -do -do -be -do. Ace has just been farming. Haven't talked about him really enough this game. There goes the Eclipse. Oh. They've caught mid one. What a big kill that could be. You'll accept they really They're still going to be able to get him on the way down. He may have popped the shrine, but he's still oh, going to die to the new damage. For them. This is a really good fight, Singer. He's trying to get away with CP out. Ace going for the kill, but a nice cake from Scofield, which also nails three other heroes. Oh, got what that a hit big play. Papita's going to be able to slow him down. They found their moments. Infamous, they've got two with Ruben caught. It's going to be a third Woo! triple kill for Kataro. <laughs> Go for it. You have Roshan. There's so many things you can do right they now. They have a butterfly. They can do Rosh. They might even be able to take a tier two after right. Roshan. If you subtract this Jakiro's net worth from the game and make him even a puppy, they're only down by 2k <laughs> gold. I know that that ma it doesn't seem like it's good math, <laughs> but it, it kind of works out in my head. Just inflates. It kind of works out in my head. Okay, okay. It's like it's really like a 1k gold lead right now in my brain. This is not much at all. Now they've got the Aegis. See they've if they can a get a tier two. On their prophet. Whew, this game turned pretty quickly. Dude, they're doing it. This is amazing. They're gonna even take a tier two mid, and then it's in, again. It's kind of even ish. Their Luna is getting stupid farmed right now. So I know there's gonna be a lot of people saying like, "Man, I can't believe these guys ever doubted their ability to fight," but. Well, what would you... Okay, Puppy's just trying to suicide or something. Dude, the blink away. Schofield, like, somehow caught everyone with his one disable. <laughs> his one kick. And they also Nailed. found mid one first. That was the, that was yeah. the big thing, is yeah, they yeah, found yeah. mid one before anything. Like, them catching mid one right here was so huge. Schofield just goes in, creates a barrier, and they use a lot of spells on him. The Gale was dropped on him, and if you notice from the north, Papita's just making his way the down. The TP out and the kick. That one, kick. two, three. three. Oh, 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 man. Just completely traps him. They kill Puppy with that one, and then Puppy is just here for the cleanup. Yeah. If Ace, if Ace had gone down, like yeah, if, if it wasn't the Earth Spirit and Jakiro being so low, and he had so much movement speed, he uh, he might have been caught, and that that could have been an even bigger win for Infamous. Dude, that would have been absolutely okay. massive. Okay, this guy's got Aegis, so they're gonna have to try and blow him up without using any big spells, and they are gonna throw out the Echo Slam, actually, the Ice Path catching up mid one. Misses out on the kick, but oh, it does manage to hit Puppy as he comes out from his ultimate. Immediately managed to get the disable onto Kataro. Oh, Fury on. Looks like he came in from behind. That's no good. Ace is going to be able to go straight for Schofield. And now he throws out the blood right with a rupture on top. They've kited this poor Kataro so much. He finally pops the BKB, but it's a bit too late. He may throw out the Eclipse, but the BKB's in return from Secret.
renders it null. And the eclipse, eclipse stolen from Yapsar will get the extra kill. Just as you think Infamous got a shot. Infamous! You had... They needed to fight, man. They had Aegis Cheese. <laughs> they were so strong. It took them so long to kill Kataro, and he waited so long in that BKB usage as well. Oh no. Before these last two fights, what would you have given the chances of Infamous like winning this game? 35%. And now Rubik has exorcism. <laughs> it just doesn't stop. Dude, the hits just keep on coming. <laughs> they. They were legitimately in a really, really nice situation. Uh, mid one? Mid one? J uh, okay, he that's gets... apparently Shadow Blade. Invisibility oh, is invincibility. Word. And so that's going to be one lane of Rax. Yeah, so they lose one lane of Rax here for a second one. He's got Bada. four staff. Yeah, he can jump down whatever he wants, two. Yep. And mid one, just, I guess he's going to casually walk away. Good thing for them. Finish that, that tier three. Right, they got the deny from Stinger. All right. So they lost one Rax. But oh, everything was. It was looking so decent. And I just. I'm such a. I really like comebacks. And I was sensing one in the making. Like a really nice comeback in the making. Mm -hmm. They were down like 5k or something. And Secret just made you look the fool. Ooh, they did. Not a. Now it's an even bigger lead than it was before. Over 15k. Mjolnir complete for Fada, so he does a lot of damage. He's getting close to his level 25. He's very strong right now. He's got that 9 second BKB still. Uh, Ace right now, who we don't talk about nearly enough. That's our bad. He's almost got a heart. He's just been steadily farming away. Hasn't really died. Like, Kind of just playing his role very well. It's really surprising to me that he was ahead of the Luna right now. Yeah, but they, those kills really picked them back up. Now Luna's gonna be caught. BKB gets activated, but he just doesn't have the damage to turn Zero and fight chance. all four of these heroes. They are now just in shambles. Like, infamous. I mean, their Luna almost had a satanic. If they just chilled, everything was okay. He was gonna grab a satanic. And with the Satanic BKB Butterfly, they can 5-man very well. Yeah. Once you get uh, another item on the Death Prophet, who looked like he wanted to go for a Blink Dagger because of their lack of Disable so that he could continue to chase, things get even better. But now it's Secret going on the high ground offensive. Mid one was seeing if he could pick up that Nature's Prophet. Unable to do so, though. Almost a BKB completed on him. Now everyone <laughs> makes their way over. That's illusions. Infamous are actually taking so much damage from this. Ace, slow down. They managed to get two stuns on top of them. That's all the stuns that they have, though. Oh, they needed to is them. just going to get turned around on with the BKB activated. He has a rupture up. Pops BKB, He's but got cheese, cheese is cheese, taking cheese. too much right click damage. Oh, actually, the cheese maybe he can kill Fada. That's going to oh, be one down. Ace is dropping as well. Papita is going to be able to get the double kill off this one. The Ice Path managed to snag up the officer long enough for Papita to be able to get him. Now with the slowdown, Schofield. He's dropped a little low, managed to get the silence off, but no stun as Puppy is going to be able to get that kill. Missed Ice Path. And it looks like that will be the end of Infamous's turnaround, but they got two big time core kills. Yeah, that cheese. And that's what we wanted to see. When they got that Aegis Cheese, both of your cores are going to be so strong. Ideally, you'd like to just be able to stay... You don't need to five-man push down the tower, but you'd like to be near each other mm -hmm. in case moments like that happen. And they knew they could sense. So, like, Kotaro's definitely by himself. Let's just use everything on him. And even when he respawns with the Aegis and BKB, he wasn't able to pop that BKB fast enough. Now, here comes mid one. Echo. That is so much damage. And once again... Just getting caught right outside his base. he just broken apart the Mask of Madness, finished up the Butterfly, was trying to work towards that Satanic. I mean, if he gets that big upgrade in HP and the Lifesteal, right? He doesn't die to the burst damage potentially. Boom, he pops his BKB Satanic, starts right-clicking, he goes up the full HP so fast. Yes. Yeah. And they've got a Hex on their Nature's Prophet. Like, everything was going okay, but can't live in the past. A secret 15k up. So what do we do for Infamous? Just stall some more? Stall until we're yeah. six slotted on our three cores? I know it feels like we're just talking about Infamous, but it's because like, there's not much to say. Like, Secret's up 20k. They've done 
it's they've done an excellent job of building their lead. Yeah, the regular update on which item Secret has picked up recently. Yeah, it's like they're they're ahead and they continue to get ahead. As Puppy mid double ice pad. Oh, nice ice pad from Yapsor throws him into the Death Prophet yeah. just to prolong the stuns as well. And mid one oh, from the mid north. One. Gonna go on Stinger. The double kick is there. He's going to be able to catch him with the silence on top from the Death Prophet. He tries to throw out his ultimate, but doesn't actually get anything with it. Secret will manage to back themselves away. Yule Scepter slows him down. Papita's still trying to help his allies get out of this situation, but the silences. And this is where the nasty part occurred, where they just keep on getting poked at. Was that the Earth Spirit stone that he used? Yeah. And I didn't even know that worked like that. Oh, Stinger picks up the courier. And he's almost got a BKB too. Like, things are... Starting to be okay. <laughs> okay. They're just training couriers. I was like, things are starting to be all right, but they send the uh, the courier near that bottom to set up for that Luna Satanic, which I think she should just buy straight up. Like, yes. Don't save gold. Play for the win here. Death. Roshan time. Right. Secret. Yeah. Waiting on Roshan number three. Yeah. Four, With next Aegis cheese, like it's going to be same. pretty hard. Bottom shrine has fallen. So infamous, their one chance of being able to come back into this game again is going to be contesting Roshan, right? And they, we do have really good team fight potential. Ah. They're going to win, want to do some sort of smoke situation. How does Secret, knowing that that's the one opportunity that Infamous will have, what do they do about it? Like, just, just set up good ward vision. Uh, try to have your heroes all together. There's a BKB completed on mid one now, almost level 25. Everything right now for them is working out just fine. What do you go here, by the way, for Shaker? Do you go for the Enchant cooldown or the 600 health? Enchant, totem. Okay, 600 health's Pretty a lot, though. sure. It is a lot. But oh. Enchant totem is such a Roshan's huge up. source of damage for you. Infamous don't seem concerned by it. In fact, they're all just going to head bottom. Taro well. did finish his Satanic, playing for the win. I like that. Get that uh, 15 all stats, and all of a sudden you've got like 3,500 health. Well, the Sprout does bot them out. And. Stinger's gotta get out. Nothing they can do about it. Stinger's really gotta get out. Yapster's on the hunt. No, Stinger. Please. He wants to push it to the limit, and honestly, he kinda has to. Yeah, he has, be he has buyback too. He's one of the few heroes on his team with buyback. He might as well. Trying to catch as many of the creep waves with his ultimate Dude. stall up secret while they've got this five minute Aegis. Jakiro's got that 150 GPM tell now. He's gonna slowly start uh -oh, catching Stinger, up. Stinger, you better TP right now. Mid one is on his way. They're gonna try and slow down his regular TP. Stinger, need to pop the TP scroll soon. Dude, oh no, mid one's here. They're gonna be able to stop him. Yule Scepter. That was so greedy. Yeah. But has buyback, so not the worst death in the world. I mean, do you pop it just right away? Just uh, try and get more split pushing done? I don't know. I understand the attempt. And it's very easy as a commentator to just say, like... Because they're, they're playing blind right now. They don't yeah. really see anything. And there's so many shadow blades, and they can't get sentries up everywhere. So I kind of agree with the risk. It's really easy for everyone to just say, like, oh, we should get out. Like, yeah. of course, we can see a bunch of moving dots at him. But I think the decision is inherently correct. Yeah, he like, has to split push. Yeah, you gotta, the, you gotta shove out that lane, otherwise like your you, top lane's gonna get shoved in because they have Aegis. Yeah, which is still kind of the same situation where, you know, might as well buy back just to split yeah. push. But it seems like his allies are actually doing well enough with this bottom lane push. They might be able to solve for the 20 seconds. They're gonna be able to get Yapsor here. Stun number one, and that's all the stuns that they have. So Yapsor is gonna start walking himself away from this engagement, and the turnaround is gonna happen with Midwan being on the TPN. They're gonna catch Schofield. Gataro goes ahead and throws out that Eclipse, but he's ruptured up underneath the Blood Rite again. Oh, oh no. no, that's the Axe Ultimate. He has to pop the BKB. He's got Papita's here, though. He managed to catch uh, mid one. If they can actually bring him down, but they don't have the counter vision. He's able to walk himself away from this one. Both of the cores are still somewhat healthy for Infamous. They're actually but they're going... not looking good enough to be able to take this tier three. Oh, they're going to have to start backing up soon. Puppy almost gets Goldfield. Just managed to nail with the blink forward. 
Looks to be able to chase away the rest of the supports while Pop Hall is going down. so quickly. That's just going to be the, the Aegis, though. This is still going to be infamous. Easily able to fight this one. Stinger almost managed to TP out, surprisingly. Papita does manage to make it out, though. And that's pretty important because him and the Luna, both through their ultimates, they need to rapidly push out these other lanes and not let Secret get on top of them in this next 60 seconds. Yeah, they did lose their racks up at top. An aggressive maneuver was made. Ace... Look at Secret just filing in mass TPs into the mid lane, and that's where Papita is going to get caught. Pops pop his BKB, it. knowing that mid one's right on top of him, but the BKB is just not going to last for long. Tries to throw out the Shivas to be able to stop the blink forward. Mid one is going to be caught by it, and Death Prof is just too damn fast. So it is a little bit of wasted time here for Secret. They want to try to go high ground here still. They know that the Nature's Prophet bought back for that engagement. But unfortunately for them, there still is a tier 2 tower up at, down at bottom, and this Rax is low, but not worth it to commit that heavily just for rain tracks. Yeah, thank, uh, thank goodness the Manta Illusions of the Luna was able to push forward that next mid wave that was coming in. That really stalled up Secret quite a lot. Yeah. And you've got to cut waves aggressively. And puppy, uh, Puppy, he's really daring this one. Blood right and the cloud that makes things really difficult for Earth Spirits to be able to get the follow-up stun off the ice path. And now they manage to rupture up and throw back Kotaro with the increase in level 25, the telekinesis. Now Infamous are you gonna try and fight this one out with the BKB activated. Oh no, oh, mid one was echo? not able to get his blink echo slam, but still so much physical damage is being rained down upon the Luna, and he's just not gonna be able to get out of here alive. Papita, he's gonna have to throw out all the damage himself, but heroes are kiting him around just constantly. Yule Scepter's being used, Excel being chased down by Puppy. Finally, Yule Scepter, Papita. They need to just direct all the physical damage onto him. And once they do, this game is pretty much over. Infamous are going to have to mass buyback, but they do not have the Death Prophet ultimate, so it's pretty much all on the Luna now to dish out the damage and repel Secret from this final push. Yeah, and the Ghosts, Rubik has him. They want to continue to push in for it. He actually steals the dual breath. Doesn't really Why matter not? what spells he has at this point. Look at that long toss back. Able to get him right on top of the Venomancer, slowing down Excel. A pickoff before the fight, the final fight, even starts. And Fada still has cheese. All the buybacks coming out on Infamous. Everyone's back alive, and they haven't been Mega Creep just yet as Taro TP's out bottom. Where do you head? Do you head bottom? Do you deal with your tier fours being chipped down? Looks like secrets. May not be able to close out this game just yet. Yeah, and mid one even whiffed on that echo, but they still dominated that fight. Yeah. Like he was trying to time the Luna BKB, but wasn't able to do so. I mean, they just keep on kiting the, the Death Prophet, and then they just hone in on the Luna when they feel like she's weak enough that both our Venomancer as well as our uh, Bloodseeker can just right click him down. And our Venomancer does a lot of physical damage. Now with the. Uh, Butterfly complete. So Papita is actually going to be going for Blink Dagger in order to assist in uh, chasing down these heroes. They keep on kiting them away. He's had that queued up yeah. for a really long time. Well, he's already blown his buyback. There's nothing else to do, I guess. Might as well. No, no, Stinger. This was not the place to teleport. He's trying to cut the extra wave. And sadly, all of Secret were lining up to head up to top lane to see if they can kill the Death Prophet, and he just ends up stumbling into them. You just gotta make guesses. You just gotta go for those aggressive TPs and cut waves and just hope for the best. At this point, though, it's becoming predictable. Like, Secret knows. Yeah. Every time, like, this Nature's Prophet is trying to cut this top wave, guys. It's done that, like, four times. Let's just wait for him. Kill him when he comes up here, and now... They're making their trek through mid as mid one did push out that top tower. Almost has an octarine. Has it if he wants it. <laughs> Probably not gonna buy it though, right? I'd like him to. You don't think that's just inherently just a little risky? Not I mean, what if somehow infamous inside their base five O you, and then push out? Anything can happen, I guess. 41k though, Cap. That's a lot of K. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> I don't know what you want me. Absurdly large number. I don't know what you want me to say when you ask questions like <laughs> I'm, that. Dude. I'm not sure the last time that I've seen a number above 30k. <laughs> wow. Like you, you. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Just like. Sure, dude. What if? <laughs> I love the fact that Secret are still, like, farming, controlling the game. They're like, oh, a, let's just get our next round of items, guys. They're like another. If they had, if they had the most, if they had another Bloodseeker, on the side of Infamous, like if they had everything that Ace has, they would still be losing in net worth. <laughs> they just had a six versus five. If they had a still six versus five, they would still be losing in net worth. I don't think they lose the fight. I actually <laughs> think that'd be enough to turn the game around for them. <laughs> but they'd be down by like 10k gold still, dude. That, that's how big of a disadvantage they're at right now. So if there's a comeback, it's going to be even more epic. As they're going to run into mid spotted. one. Who he has a haste rune, though. And that makes just walk away. Hard. Schofield, you have one... You got like one missile. <laughs> You're everything for your team. He has to hit the perfect stun. Oh no, he's he straight into the perfect ice path and he Get is almost there. immediately gonna die. Tossed back by the Rubik into the rest of Secret. He only gets off his ultimate and he has no buyback. So now it's entirely on our Jakiro. That was the gem as well. He's got both of those gems are both Schofields. <laughs> the puppy's just no. racking him up. He's gonna drop one. Let the courier pick it up instead. Infamous. Somebody start feeding tomes to excel. Get him to that level 25. Because they definitely need it on Infamous Are there any? right now. I don't think there are. Oh, there is one. Bit by bit, Secret will start chipping away at that tier 3. Fada leading in front. The rest of Secret sitting behind him. I mean, there's not really much of a force of initiation for Infamous in the first place. Even harder, most of the scary heroes are in the back line, far outside of your reach. The 3x Plague Wars are doing so much work right now. And eventually, Fada is going to be able to make this Mega, so Infamous are going to be forced to come forward. They're just hoping to be able to stall until Earth Spirit can make that initiation, rather than the other four, who pretty much just run at Secret. That's all they really do. But it's going to be Megas at this point. Glyph is going to be popped. Okay, you got to come in. Infamous are going to start this fight. Death Prophet goes out with the Ghost already laid in. But look at Fada. He's just man fighting him. Already brought him down to half HP. Feeling a little uncomfortable with it. With the Fisher block there, there's going to be no pursuit whatsoever. Go ahead. Yeah, pick up that Divine Rapier. See what we can do. Schofield, though, tries to make his initiation. Immediately dies. Papita tossed into secret. Now it's going to be all in Kataro. But the Fisher block is not going to allow him to be able to chase down any of these heroes. It's just going to be him nailing into Fada. Now the blink in from mid one as the BKB fades away. Immediately gets the stun. No right clicks come out from Kataro. And that is it for infamous game number one will be secrets and it has been all along 59k that is the largest deficit i think i've ever seen without a team gg'ing out that could be the largest in dota history i don't know about that but that from my personal perspective like 59,000. <laughs> all right <laughs> secret there was like one moment yes where i felt really good about infamous's chances